Hey guys, Sonny here with some Heroes of the Storm action for you. I'm going to be playing Sergeant Hammer on this map. Uh, this is one I played a little while ago, so I'm not as familiar with what happened in the game. Uh, we will see how it goes for us. I'm going to look at our teams here. We have Illidan, Rhaegar, Sergeant Hammer, Zeratul, and Nova on my team. So pretty good uh, mix. No real tank going on on the enemy team. We have Sergeant Hammer, Brightwing, Illidan, Muradin, and Nova. It all work out pretty well. Uh, fairly balanced teams. The lack of a tank with they having Muradin might hurt us a little bit. I'm going to pick up Advanced Artillery here, which is the same trait that the enemy Sergeant Hammer picks up. Both Novas also pick up Ambush Snipe. And... Uh, Brightwing picks up his block. The one I'm a little bit uh, weirded out about here by are both Illidans taking rather subpar talents. Uh, regenerative Globes are Master for our Illidan and the imp or Seasoned Marksman for the enemy Illidan. So it kind of leads me to believe that these guys are lower level Illidan players. They don't have access to all the talents yet. Those are two of the base talents that uh, they have in the game. So it looks like Zer or Illidan is moving back here. He is using his evasion to try and stay alive. Muradin's coming around the side. He throws out a hammer, and Rhaegar and I dodge that quite easily. Looks like we are our tower did get taken by the enemy Illidan. Our stealthers, Nova and Zeratul, are chasing him down. Hopefully they can catch him. Rhaegar should be able to with his uh, ghost wolf form, which is extremely useful. I really like that as Rhaegar, the just ability to insta-mount and to either chase somebody down or to get out of a dicey situation. Um, that was definitely a misclick. Did not mean to fire off my W pushback there. I can't remember what that ability is called off the top of my head. So both teams are poking around the jungle, poking around the towers, trying to find a single enemy that they can pick off. Looks like Illidan is getting a little greedy here on Rhaegar, so I'm going to do what I can to uh, pop him a little bit. There's the enemy Sergeant Hammer. I kind of wish that... Oh, it looks like Zeratul, or Illidan does run into my minefield, runs through the bushes to try and kill me. Muradin comes around. They do get Illidan. Muradin comes around and hits me with his hammer, uh, which is a bit of a problem because he actually has the talent that increases that damage by five every time he hits a hero with it. So he is uh, permanently increasing his DPS and the amount of burst damage that he can do every time he gets a, he gets a hit off uh, with his Storm Bolt or Storm Hammer ability. So I'm going to turn on Siege Bone here, and uh, what I was saying was, I kind of wish that the teams, I always say they did take out Brightwing, I kind of wish the teams were colored, uh, either red or blue, because if you look at the two Sergeant Hammers here, we look exactly the same. Uh, aside from the health bars, I guess that's an easy way to tell us apart, but aside from the health bars, there's no real way to tell anyone apart. Looks like uh, Brightwing is in here, she fires off her arcane blast on me. But, oh, looks like we actually do have a, quite the team fight going on up top. Rhaegar and I should probably get up there and help that. A lot of people on my team are asking for help. Enemy Nova's very close to the head. Looks like the Illidans are having a duel. I believe the enemy Illidans going to end up winning that. Yep, our Illidan does go down. Both teams are level 4. Hopefully Zeratul and Nova can pick Illidan off here. They are coming very close to doing that. Looks like Muradin is up here, so we do have... Three on now a three on three with Brightwing showing up. Four on three with Rhaegar showing up. Zeratul is warping out though, so it is turning into a three on three situation again. We did blow the enemy team back. Looks like I'm asking for some help with the knights, uh, which would actually be very good for our team given that the mines are about to open in ten seconds here. I'm gonna put down some minefield. Looks like Muradin is trying to stop us from grabbing these. My mines do go off and catch him. Uh, Nova decides to chase him down. Illidan is coming in. I'm gonna do my best to actually cover my team here while they take the knights. Say so Zeratul's rolling in too. Illidan, Nova, and Rhaegar should have no problem with this. So the enemy team is coming in at the last second to try and blow us off. I do have Brightwing and Sergeant Hammer on me, so I'm going to de uh, de siege and get out of there. Looks like Rhaegar and Illidan are doing their best to push there. Illidan does pop in a little bit. Uh, this is probably not a good situation for us to stay in. We are getting relatively low on health and mana. And the enemy team is not super, super low. Looks like that evasion did keep me from hurting or putting a little bit more pressure on Illidan. I probably really should get out of here. We do take out Illidan at the cost of Sergeant Hammer, at the cost of my life. We did take out... Illidan, we do have about a half level lead on our opponents, and Zeratul is down in the mines grabbing as many skulls as he can, which is doing pretty well. Uh, we do have 17 of those. We do have knights pushing the top, which is helping out quite a bit for us. And looks like, what is our team going to do here? 
a little bit of a lull in the s in the game. We just have Zeratul and Illidan down in the mines, taking up s uh, picking up skulls. Nova misses her snipe. I'm gonna move into these bushes here and siege up, throw down some mines. I'm gonna try and hold this hold this top level. Hopefully, oh, Illidan just comes super close to getting. Um, the enemy team just comes up right into my minefield. That actually worked out really well. I had no idea that that was going to happen. We are pushing this top lane. Uh, bottom lane, or top lane. We are pushing this top lane slightly. Man, I'm tripping over my words today. Uh, I could not speak for some reason. Looks like Zer or Rhaegar and Nova are backing out. Illidan and Zeratul are doing a great job of picking up all the trash skulls in the bottom. Down in the mines. I gotta pick up my last talent here. I'm gonna get the hover slowly in siege mode. Really, really powerful talent. It allows uh, Sergeant Hammer to move while sieged, which is you know kind of obvious looking at this. But the power that that gives her to move her position is incredibly, incredibly strong. Just because you can pressure the other team, and if you uh, see a situation like this where they have to continually run, Brightwing does make a great move hiding in those bushes to polymorph me. If her team had been back and supporting her in that move, she they could have easily picked up a kill on me. We do have enemy giants bombarding our fort here. Brightwings or Rhaegar is keeping me healed up. Doing a great job at that. Zeratul saying we have all but the boss, which is indeed true. We have 80 skulls to zero skulls on the enemy. This first golem is going to be quite the doozy. Looks like Nova and Rhaegar are trying to bait some of the enemy team now. Looks like you could see just at the top of the mine there, they are chasing Nova down. Doing a pretty good job at that. Looks like Brightwing is in that bush over there. I'm going to try and bombard her. Ooh, she does get an arcane blast off. This is turning into you know, a bit of a one-on-one -on -one fight. Neither one of us can really run from the other, although she is realizing that she will uh, she will die if she continues that fight. So we keep bombarding these guys, keep pushing pretty hard. Looks like uh, they took out Murden on the bottom, and I believe we will collect every skull this turn. Uh, given that we have completely pushed the enemy back from the in the mines, that team fight worked out pretty well for us. We do have a full level lead on our opponents now. Brightwing is back to try and uh, do this again, this one-on-one -on -one fight that we are having. She has polymorphed me, and then her minions come out, so I need to back off here. I'm going to put down a little bit of a minefield. Looks like Brightwing is still trying to do this one-on-one -on -one thing. I don't know if this is going to work out very well. She does heal herself up there ever so slightly. Looks like we are have... A hundred skull golem to a zero skull golem. Our skull, our golem should be coming al along the top here, um, which we have already put a, a decent amount of damage on. The gate and the towers are almost gone. Murden tries to hit me with his hammer, misses just barely. Nova does land a snipe, a beautifully placed snipe there on Murden. He goes down. The precision strike is even better and takes out Brightwing. Enemy Nova is still up here at the top, but she is all alone, and we are just crushing through this top lane. These enemy team still does not have their ultimates. So that makes it very, very difficult for them to push us back, especially when I have the napalm and I'm just com bombarding them left and right with that. So uh, this Sergeant Hammer could not do much damage to me, especially with that napalm just completely negates almost anything she can do. Nova does get sniped in the face there. Bright or Sergeant Hammer does get caught. Oh, she just gets away just barely. She got caught by the roots there, and my napalm did hit her, but it wasn't enough damage. I think Meriden's going to try and throw out a hammer there. He does stun Nova with that. Brightwing comes in to try and save the fort, but it's just a little bit too late. There's Brightwing healed up a little bit. Illidan does metamorph metamorphosize? Metamorphosis? How would you pronounce that? Anybody know? Metamorphosize or something like that? But we are being pushed back here. There are th they have chased us out. There are three of them out here. Two of them stayed back with the golem, so they have overextended a little bit. Uh, that precision strike was just a tad too early uh, to hit Illidan or to catch Illidan with it. Would have been a really really good move to take out Illidan. Maybe could have even taken out Brightwing. We should take these night camps while we're fighting the enemy or while the enemy's fighting our golem. It is almost dead, so my guess is that they will come right for these knights as soon as they can. As soon as they can. Once our golem is down, it's like Zeratul, Rhaegar, and Nova are still up there on the top lane. Nova may have, she did indeed Hearthstone back. So I'm um, just going to take out these knights solo. Looks like Murden's coming in to help me out, or to try and stop me from grabbing this. Hopefully I can still get it. Uh, looks like Zeratul comes in to help. Illidan does metamorphose, use his ultimate, and metamorphosize, metamorphose in. Which is great for us. Looks like enemy Illidan is trying to take these giants and actually didn't do that 
too much damage to them. Oh, wait, he did take them, sorry. Let me uh, rephrase that. I thought those knights were still neutral, but they were indeed red. Looks like Zeratul is pushing the bottom with a couple with a set of giants, and we are pushing the type or the top with giants and knights, which is going quite well for us. <laughs> Sergeant Hammer saying, uh, professing her love for Napalm. Illidan does go into the middle with a metamorphosis or metamorphosis there, but he gets hit by the precision strike. A beautifully laid down precision strike right there gets both Nova and uh, Illidan. Muradin is up here with Brightwing. We are pushing this keep really, really well. There's four of us up here. Illidan's doing the best he can on the bottom to keep the enemy from pushing us in. Nova is fighting Brightwing one-on-one, -on -one, but she doesn't do quite enough burst damage to get him down. This keep will fall. So it's just Brightwing and Muradin keeping us back at the moment on the bottom lane. Sergeant Hammer is trying to backdoor us slightly. I can't help but feel that that is actually the wrong choice for her. It would go a lot better if she's able to actually help her team keep us back. Uh, she can't push well enough on her own to actually make a base race situation worth it for her team. So she really would be better served coming up here and helping her team try and keep us back. We are assaulting their core with a three level lead, so I don't know if there's much they can do at this point. Our Illidan uses his ultimate. I do get Haymaker into the uh, core that Precision Strike misses. Uh, Illidan just a tad. Brightwing is being a really big pest with that metamor or with that polymorph. He messed down. This core is being pushed really, really hard. Uh, it's going to be really close on one thing with this. Enemy Nova does triple tap, but it doesn't actually kill anyone. Looks like Murden is still trying to kill me. I'm standing right here in the middle of the Giants. I can't really tell. I should back off, uh, given that Brightwing and the Enemy Nova are both trying to kill me. Enemy Nova does go down to a well-placed snipe, however. Oh, we have almost a four-lane lead. I probably should get out of here. Uh, deactivate siege mode and activate my thrusters to get out as quickly as possible. Looks like Nova just got killed. I believe she overstayed her welcome. I'm gonna pick up. I don't have. I don't actually have all of Sergeant Hammer's talents in this video. That's actually wow. This was from a long time ago. So we're going to take down these, uh, to pressure this bottom lane. Looks like they are trying to take those giants over there. You can see that on the mini-map. So, yeah, that was definitely the wrong ability. I meant to put down the mines and not fire off that shot. Looks like Illidan's trying to come in and take me out. He does dash onto me and use his leap. Rhaegar's coming in to try and help me out. Hopefully we can do something about it. The healing wave does a pretty good amount of damage. Illidan's getting super greedy. Uses his ultimate on us. I'm going to fire off a shot of Napalm. Looks like enemy Sergeant Hammer also got some napalm, so we're going to have a bit of a mirror matchup there. Uh, it would be just really cool if they actually gave the team, individual teams, more of a uh, color tint, so you know, when you have mirror matchups, it would be a little bit easier, but it looks like Brightwing goes down, this big team fight is happening up here. Our right, Illidan goes down to that haymaker, uh, Muradin has managed to leap out of the way. I guess the, the napalm circles are color-coded to help out people, and the... Uh, Health bar should be enough. Looks like a precision strike is going off right on top of Murden, right in his face. He probably he did have time to back out of that. I feel like he just wasn't quite fast enough with it. We do have 71, 74 skulls now. Looks like Zeratul is down in the bottom, doing a great job at capturing all those skulls. I'm gonna take this lane. Looks like Illidan and Rhaegar are gonna go for that uh, golem on the bottom. Nova's moving around down to this lane. Enemy Sergeant Hammer is doing a great job of holding that. There is a fight going on down at the Golem. I wish I could change the camera view just to take a look at that. Looks like it's Brightwing and Nova versus Illidan. And I, my guess would be Zeratul. I believe that's who's down there. Although Nova does go down, so now it's just Brightwing versus Illidan and Zeratul. I'm trying to push this bottom lane a little bit more. Let's take a look at our stats. I've got uh, 37,000 hero damage, 30,000 siege damage. So that shows a lot of what Sergeant Hammer can do. Uh, she does a really, really, a rather large amount of hero damage when uh, the rest of the team can support her. I feel like I'm overstaying my welcome. I don't feel like this is going to end well between Mur me and Muradin. He is engaging me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, which probably isn't a smart idea on his part. I probably should actually just get out of here. Uh, come on, pass on Ish. Go back. Back it up. Yeah, I, I really need to get out of there. That is not a good... There comes Illidan. There's the gank. 
Hopefully I can make it. Odin does use his metamorphosis to get around me to catch up, and he does end up killing me. I love the way Sergeant Hammer just falls apart when she dies. It's really, really great. Uh, Zeratul is taking a lot of damage from those two giants, trying to keep them from hurting his team. He is healing up, though, given his uh, passive ability. Looks like we have a four-man uh, four push going on up top. Illidan is fighting a four-on-one situation up there. It's probably not really smart for him uh, to do that. They're pushing. Uh, they're <laughs> looks like they're quite mad. That golem should be able to take this um, core, no problem. That precision strike goes off, and it does take the core down. Uh, GG, everyone. Let's take a look. XP contribution was pretty good. Hero damage pretty high. Um, so... One thing I do like about Sergeant Hammer is she's actually not, if she's pushing the bases, that's pretty good, but what she really, really excels at is team fighting, especially if you have a team that can keep the enemy team uh, from really focusing Sergeant Hammer. She could just sit back and do incredible amounts of damage if you can engage correctly with her. So that's something I really like. I hope you guys like this uh, video, and I will see you guys later.